Welcome to the Betting Report. I'm Nicole Randall. And I'm Ron Andrews for the Fort Benning Public Affairs Office. Thanks for watching the Army's best local television newscast. The Maneuver Center of Excellence said farewell to Major General Robert Brown as he leaves for Joint Base Lewis McCourt and in turn welcomes a new commanding general, Major General H.R. McMaster. The Maneuver Center of Excellence change of command took place on the National Infantry Museum Soldier Field. Friends, family, soldiers, and supporters gathered to bid farewell to General Brown and welcome General McMaster. You know, I'm really proud to have been on this team, the maneuver team, just extremely proud and proud to be a part of the Chattahoochee Valley region. And if I had to go and pick somebody to take my place, HR is going to take this to a new level. We were on each other's flanks as brigade commanders. He's a heck of a warrior. He's also an incredible scholar. Uh, HR, I'm so proud and so glad uh, you're here. General McMaster replaces General Brown as the third commander of the MCOE and the 53rd commander to take the reins at Fort Benning. Well, obviously, it's a great privilege to join the team here at the Maneuver Center at Fort Benning, this great community, and uh, it's exciting. I mean, you can't help but draw energy from our soldiers, you know, our, our leaders, our great civilians that are working here that are really at the heart of, our, of developing our Army's combat effectiveness for today, the fights of today, and the, and the fights of tomorrow. General McMaster previously served as the commander of the Combined Joint Interagency Task Force, Shafafiat, in Afghanistan. You know, whenever you have a chance to really think, contemplate about, you know, really what, what you've experienced in combat, what others have experienced. You know, what, one of the things about combat experience is everybody gets sort of a snapshot. You know, you don't get the full context. So what you need to do is bring people together, compare experiences, think about, okay, what do we learn? You know, and then, and then how do we apply what we've learned? After McMaster was promoted to Major General, General Brown, General McMaster, along with Lieutenant General Halverson and Command Sergeant Major Carabello, passed the command from one inspirational leader's hands to another. You know, the first guidance is going to be, hey, let's, let's continue to get after uh, what everybody was getting after here uh, under General Brown's command. General McMaster greeted the Fort Benning community for the first time with inspirational words of wisdom for his new Army family. Guided by wisdom and animated by zeal and courage, have gained you the love and confidence of your grateful countrymen. And they look to you, who are experienced veterans, and trust that you will still be the guardians of America. General Brown and General McMaster exchange the MCOE, the Army's greatest training installation, as General Brown heads to Joint Base Lewis McCord to command I-Corps, while General McMaster leads the Maneuver Center of Excellence into the future.